Hey everybody, it's Ed. Today's video, we are going to focus on what could very well be the very first or one of the earliest known record store promotions for an Elvis Presley record, which is, at the time I'm making this video, currently on auction. However, it is due to end within a few minutes. So I'm hoping that by the end of this video, we will see what the final result is. And this is a hanger that hung at a store in Memphis. I'll give you the details in a minute. It says, it's here, Elvis Presley, Sun 209, Blue Moon, Kentucky, that's all right. So this is currently on auction right now. Uh, this is at Rockhurst Auctions. Let's see if you can hopefully see that. Rockhurst Auctions. All right, it says, 1954 Elvis Presley ceiling hanger advertisement from Popular Tunes, Memphis record store for his first Sun record, That's All Right, slash Blue Moon of Kentucky. Okay, so here's the interesting thing. At the time that we are filming this right now, I'm going to have to milk it for another few minutes at least. Or maybe not. Let's see what happens. This is supposed to end within about six minutes. So currently, uh, before we even do that, let's, let's take a look at what the back of it looks like. That's the back of it. Now again, this is currently on auction at the time that I am making this video. All right, and then there is a letter of authenticity. Let's read that. Why not? It says, to whom it may concern, and it is signed by Brian Bierne, B-E-I-R-N-E. -E. It says, my name is Brian Bierne. I was a radio personality for over 40 years and have a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. For my entire life, I have been a major collector of records, posters, and Hollywood memorabilia, and the main focus on Elvis items. About 35 years ago, I purchased a number of items from Rosalind Craner, EP expert, who wrote the first Elvis collectible books. Rosalind was ill at the time and was selling many Elvis items from her collection. Among the items I purchased was the earliest Elvis concert poster from the Eagle's Nest. I also purchased from her this original circular record store mobile for Sun 209, that's all right, which she said had hung at popular times I'm sorry, Popular Tunes Record Store in Memphis. Ms. Connor told me both the mobile, uh, mobile and the Eagle's Nest poster had belonged to a gentleman from Memphis who became an Elvis fan in 1954. So there you have it. That's, that's the letter of authenticity that comes with this hanger. Again, that we shall look at briefly. So if this is authentic, it's very cool. I have no reason to believe it isn't, but it's in such nice shape if it is. So there you go. All right, so, but here's the interesting thing about this. Sorry, I keep looking down. Now, when this started out, we had a minimum bid of $1,500. Uh, and the end date is coming up soon, I believe. So anyway, um, the estimate for it is $3,000 to $5,000, which is pretty extravagant okay but as it stands let's see if we can do this let's see if i can get you to see it all right so here it is here we go and as it stands we are at oops let's see can you see it oh is it blurry hold on let me focus okay can you see it can you see what that what, what, what we're currently at holy cow all right, so I'm, I'm really curious to see what this is going to go for. But as of right now, we are at 19000 The current bid, $19,000. It's not me. <laughs> nope. <laughs> but I think it's pretty cool. Like I said, if this, if this is real, this is, a, this is a pretty damn cool item. So there you have it. Yeah, I don't think we're going to stick around because maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's not ending as soon as I thought. Let's see what it says. No, actually it does. It, it says that there's four, as of right now, as of when I'm making this, we have 14 minutes left. So you know what? 
when you watch this video, if you want, you can go to rockhurstauctions.com. You ready? That's R O C K H U R S T A U C T I O N S dot com. It's all one word, of course Rockhurst Auctions. And um, you should be able to find it. Uh, I would guess they have a search option where you can just type in Elvis Presley or uh, Elvis Ceiling Hanger, whatever, or Lot Number 11. That maybe will help. But here's your information. All right, so $19,000. All right, before I finish, let's do a refresh. Let's see if there's any change in the price. All right, we hit it. And as of right now, it still stands at $19,000. So I'm really curious to see what this ends at because before it jumped up to 19, when I last looked at it, before it was, it, it got up to 7,500 and then I saw it at 9,000 and I was like, oh my God. I was like, that, that's crazy. And all of a sudden, when I looked again, it jumped up to 19,000. So, which really, really blew my mind. So there you go. There you have it, everybody. Very cool piece of Elvis memorabilia. Uh, that I will never own because <laughs> I am definitely not paying that. I don't even have the records for God's sake. That's another thing. They have a, a set of the 78s on sale and they're already going for like, uh, I think 9,000 for the set of, of, of 578s. So, no thank you, man. No thank you. But that's the end of that. So again, be really curious to see what this ends up being. So if you watch this and you are curious, you can always go and search it and see what it finally sold for, if it stayed at 19000 or if it went even higher. It'd be really cool to see. All right. Hopefully I'll be able to start making more videos soon. It's been difficult because I am still remodeling, and it looks like we will be doing the basement as well. Um, was unexpected, but maybe necessary. So... That being said, I appreciate you watching. Hopefully, I will get to make some videos uh, a little bit more frequently than I have been. But with everything that's going on, it's, it's, it's quite difficult. But I, I appreciate you watching. And as always, be good to yourselves and be good to each other. Take care.